Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome no, I haven't changed my shirt. Thank welcome you. to the Thursday video. And if you can't tell by the continuing shirts, we filmed these. We've been back. filming these all on the same day because we have a lot of time today. Because Ryan has no class. Because class is canceled. All my to classes to, are on the computer. Due to the current situation, I can't say. But today, a lot of you really wanted to see this. We are going to be doing ten brands, new labels to old labels, new versus old. The array of new and old age the ones labels. In between, maybe. We never asked you guys what brands you want to see, so we just picked 10. But please, below, list us brands you want to see in yeah. future videos of these because we just kind of went off of what we wanted to do mm -hmm. and what we could think of. So hopefully, these are some that you find kind of often or maybe have wondered about, but we are just going to jump into it. Mm -hmm. First off is J. Crew. There's a billion. J. Crew, J. Crew labels. Has 150. So I know a lot of you probably want to know about these. So the newest ones, and I will be putting examples right here because, of course, that's probably the most helpful thing. The newest ones, there's one called J. Crew Always, and it's like a remake of an old label right here. I recently found one, and I know Nick and Sia Riso had recently found one. They're remaking sweaters and stuff From that they like made in the past. In the 80s. Mm -hmm. And it looks old, but this is actually new. <clears throat> the one that says always, because there's an old one that looks just like it that does not say always. Um, J. Crew Mercantile is the new name for the outlet. So if you see those, they're also the ones that are at Nordstrom Rack and mm -hmm. places like that. But that's the J. Crew Mercantile label. And then the cursive J. Crew is the new logo. It's right like here. gray on a black tag. It's usually a black tag. I'm sure there's other ones, but if anything's cursive, it's newer. I still wouldn't pick up basic t-shirts that are by this or anything. Yeah. I'm still getting more picky with J. Crew. Um, mm -hmm. Ones that I would still pick up that are a little older, the black label that we've all been so used to, I would still pick those up if it's a good one. If it's really cute or if it's like a blogger one. I'd because they it. just recently switched like two years ago, so mm -hmm. that's not too old. And then the old outlet, which is just the like text font J. Crew with the two dots under it. it I would so still cute. pick up good ones. Pick up in the bins, maybe. And then sometimes I would pick up J. Crew Collection, but I would definitely not always. J. Crew Collection is supposed to be the like bougie, expensive J. Crew, but it's pretty old. And so now I haven't made it for like, what, like 2012 is like the newest tag I've seen. Like it's old. So that's almost 10 years. But I would still sometimes pick it up. I have sold some. And then J. Crew, there's too many old ones to list. So I'm kind of going to show like a, like a couple right here. There's like a black one. There's so, oh, there's, there's green, that little there's green, green one. Blue. Do not get that little green one. These are all no-nos, nope. unless it's a blazer. All of this is no. The only exception to these is a blazer. I would advise you not to. You can do whatever you want, but I would say do not. So like, mm -mm. Okay. none of these ones that are going right now. Skip them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, Atleta. So in the same Athleta. kind of- Athleta. Athleta. <laughs> Atleta. In the J. Crew family. Okay, so the new <clears throat> one is- Athleta's not J. Crew family. Oh, no. Athleta's so... in the, like, Gap. Athleta's family. in the Gap, like, Old Navy, Banana Republic family. Okay, so Atleta, they have a few new labels. Um, the one that I see all the time, but usually on sweaters, is, like, cream with cream writing on it, or, like, off-white writing. And then the one I see on, like, clothes is a black- it's a newer black tag. With, with white. like white or silver. With like white, yeah. Or and kind of like a... they're the same exact font. I mean, you can see them right here. No, it's the same, t like it's the same tag. The just colors are just color. different. I think one of them is like I a think the black tag. one's for like leggings usually. Yeah. Um, um, and then it's like a logo and then it's in all caps and it's just kind of like a slightly long one. Mm -hmm. It's just like right in the back. Right in the back where else would be. <laughs> so some of the older tags that I've seen in the pants, they're stamped. So it'll well, just that's in the tanks too. I'll just, yeah. Or where like, it's like almost like a sticker. Those, like, yeah, a lot those, of times like, it's coming off after washing. Um, it's bad. Um, they Some of them, like the older, older ones have like a clear like plastic tag that says Athleta or it'll just have the little logo and then there'll be it's another. It's like a rectangle. Yeah. And it's like, there'll be another little. It's kind of clear, but it's like foggy. It's like matte. Mm -hmm. And then, so kind of in between the two new ones and some of the older ones is the, it's a longer gray tag. And I do believe the logo is purple and the writing is black. And it's just this kind of like really thin, like gray. It's like really long. It's like the logo, it says Athleta, it says like made in China. Then it has the size. It's like- Oh um, yeah, no, there's a lot on that tag. That one's not like super old, but it's not the newest. Did they use that in pants? I know they at least use it mm. in the sweaters and the tops, but I would still get that one. No, that one I 100% would still Be get. picky with the stamped ones and the kind of like the thick, th weird- Like plasticky tags. Plastic that tag. one goes on do very good. Um, okay, next up, Lily Pulitzer. We actually could think of 
four, kind of five tags, oh. which I'm sure seems surprising. We, we only see like one of them ever. So the newest for sure, it's like always new, is there's one that is pink, a pink tag, and then it's gold cursive, like the normal Lily Pulitzer logo. I am not sure if that's just higher end stuff. Or if it's like the new Or if it's her newest tag, this is what it looks like, but I would always get that. Pick it up. It can also be stamped onto the shirt directly. Gold cursive Lily Pulitzer. I just recently found an athletic tank of hers. I think it's on her stuff that like, they don't want to sew a tag right? in it. Yeah, where they like, and like press that it I would also pick up. That's newer as well. Mm -hmm. The pink label with the pink cursive is kind of a gray area. She has used this tag for ever. For literal decades. So it can be newer stuff and it can be older stuff. You can always look up. She has a style number on the inner tags. So everything, has Cruz, a, so everything has a name. Every, has a name. Every Lily Pinks has a name. So Google the name and usually you'll find one of those like Lily Fanatics people that says like what name was made when. Yeah. I would still probably pick up almost all of the pink label ones, unless it just looked so old and bad. Or like if it's nasty. Now let's move on to the old ones that I wouldn't pick up any from. <gasps> so the old label okay. that you guys probably know of, if you know any of the older ones, is that big white square it's where like Lily lock. is in cursive and Pulitzer is in all capital, like normal type font. Don't get it. Don't get any of that. At this point, that, that stuff is so old. It's not Don't. worth anything. I've had some that are even like cute because there are some that have like prints of like monkeys or like water. Yeah. But it's it still like, it's somehow that tag just like throws people away from it. Nobody wants it. Mm. And then older than that, you may have never even seen this. I had seen it once. It is this cream kind of square postcard looking tag. And it has a little pink butterfly and it says Lily Pulitzer on it. And it says like established in like 1939-ish or something weird like that. That's from the 60s. So old. It's crazy old. Maybe if you could look it up still, maybe it's a collector's thing. Be one of those like Lily lovers wants it. But that stuff probably doesn't even look super current Lily-ish. Like it might not even be the same kind of customer base. So Mm -mm. Let's stay away from that. Super old. Next <clears throat> is DVF Down Bone Surf and Turf. Down 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 Bone. Bone. Furstenberg. Okay. Her newest one, that's one where Diane said, I'm different. Change it up. Change, change it up. It really is. It's just a plain white tag with Down, Space, Vaughn, Furstenberg. Under it, it. It kind of looks like well, I mean, some of her vintagey tags, but it's her newest one. It's her, all caps and it's like mm -hmm. bold. It's a thick font. Her one standard deviation one from that is the one that I think we've all kind of seen where it just is like, damn, I'll first break. And like very thin, it's very, not very It goes fun. all across, mm -hmm. like horizontal. It's Diane, and then Vaughn is like small. It's kind of tiny. And then, and then says, first and Berg is big. I would say still I would still pick that, that one up. I would still pick up those two. Anything this way would be very, very picky. Yeah. Um, she but has... she kind of like Lily, she's used that like horizontal one for a long for a while. time. So, so once again, there's names. But also the Diane stuff, yeah, has names with it. So Google it. She has some really old ones that it's like, you know, big 80s I'll show some like Diane, Diane von Furstenberg. Unless it's like a wrap if dress. If they say Diane von Furstenberg. Yeah, live no. colorfully they're always old i wouldn't pick any of that kind of stuff up yeah um, unless it was really cute one time i found yeah. right around christmas i found like a red wool sweater with like metallic lion like silver that was in it cute. i would get that but mm -hmm. like be very picky with very that true. stuff okay kate spade and we were talking about clothes and all this none of this is like bags or anything. <laughs> the newest one which i had just had in the hall on wednesday is that pink kate spade like rectangle logo with like that is super new so don't expect to see it too often like that is it's like in the store right now it they she just came out with that like last year and that's her new label that is actually in purses and stuff anything with the pink label is very very new mm -hmm. and i think it's like the really expensive stuff too i don't well no her outlet stuff uses it too but i would get any of that pink stuff get all of it the one before that was the white one that has Kate Spade, New York, written in gold. And then it has the two little tags. One says the size, one says, like, made in wherever it was made. I would probably get all that, too. It's kind of like all these other ones. She used that label forever. Like, that is some older stuff, some newer stuff. Kate has style numbers. Almost all of these have style names or numbers. Very true. You Very can nice. always look those up to see. 
always think of styles when you're like buying anything really. Yes. Gray area. There's a brand of Kate Spade or a line called Kate Spade Saturday. And there's a line called Kate Spade Broom Street. It's usually like graphic tees or plain t-shirts. So like it doesn't jeans. do super good. No. Kate Spade Saturday is kind of more boring stuff usually too. I don't think she makes Saturday anymore. I don't know. I don't know what if those are being made anymore. I don't know what, but those, there's no, they've always had the same label. Definitely look up the style on either of those. Very true. And then there's a very, very old one that I assume none of us will really ever see. That's just a white label. And it says Kate Spade New York in like green. I don't know when the heck Do she ever Do some Googling with that. that one. Oh my god. That's really old. I've never seen it. I just saw it when we did the research for this video. So, very wary of that one. Okay. Joie. It was on a no low, but I know some of you are still going to probably get it because no. we do not write the rules or no. anything. No, I do not. Okay, so Joie. Typewriter font is the newest. It's kind of, it's more spaced out. It's printed on the inside of jeans. It's not like a tag. It's the on first clothes. one to not be in cursive. And it's the first one to have a lowercase j. Thank God. But that is like the newest in the store right now. I would probably get that. I set. would still probably pick that up. Not for much money though. No. Okay, so the kind of like step down from that is the joie I think we all have come to unfortunately know and love. Once again, they've used this one forever. This is like 10 years. It's just cursive. Just cursive tags really tiny. Kind of goes at a slant. Then the old, so we have newest. Newer. Now we're getting into old. This is, this old. is getting into do not. Get this is don't buy. Don't buy it all. The old one is all kinds of calligraphy. I don't understand. It's like it. a really ugly. Curve. It's a really ugly where like the J swoops around and like meets the E and it's just bad. It's yeah. Really ugly. And it's in like it, I've seen a pair of really old joie jeans and they're like it's like red and blue. It's a really ugly colored logo usually the stuff with this label is very outdated so like you probably wouldn't get it anyways you no. do see it a lot in the jeans i feel like when you find joie jeans it's always this old tag but don't get it mm -mm. and then the oldest one we're talking like your grandma's joie got, i got this the same ugly cursive tag but i got a leaf in it it has like a like baroque a print little, like, across and then in the corner it says that same ugly joie cursive with like a little red leaf. Why? <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? Joie? Definitely don't get that. Please, I'm going to smack Maybe you. Maybe like that. for a consignment store because they might be like, what's this? But like you leave it you leave it where you you leave it where you found them. Well that took me three times to say. Okay, so another one that you'll probably find pretty often, Madewell. Now we don't have like a ton to tell you about this one, but we can tell you some of them. We got a little bit. We got a little bit of information. So all of the older ones, these are the older ones, say nineteen thirty seven. So it'll say made well. So 1937. if nineteen thirty seven is on the label, it's, it's a older. Little older. Yes, like it's probably about 2012 or older-ish. The newer ones, however, do not. It's the same Madewell logo. They do not change very much. They don't change the logo. They change the tag colors, kind of depending on what kind of garment. Yeah. But not really. I believe this take with a grain of salt. I believe the new Madewell logos or labels are white or black. And the old ones are navy blue or cream. Okay. There may be like a couple new ones that are blue. I don't know. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Texture and thread. It's Hopefully you know that that is a Madewell line. Not thread and supply. That that's, always tricks that's, me. No, it's not Target. It's just that's Gucci. like, I think that's at TJ Maxx and stuff. Texture and thread is a Madewell line. That is very new. Always get texture and thread. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, high line, which I'll put here... Cursive, not even a cute font. Don't buy it. Very old. Like 2011 or something is when they cut oh, that off. Oh, what else did they have? They, were, they had, maybe we'll have a few. They had Highline. They had Broadway and Broom. Oh. I think. I don't know, but yeah. They had. Yeah. A, I remember they had a few little, like, syndicates. I guess Jaker had Pont Sur, too. If you see Pont Sur. Jaker has Pont Sur. Um, but Highline, no. Please it was so cheap funny. even when it was new. I know. So now it's just terrible. <laughs> And then also sometimes you see this in denim jackets. It's like stamped Madewell, kind of big. That's older. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like, there's no Madewell that I'd be like 100% 
Ixnay, look up the style numbers. Very true. And make your decision off that, because there I definitely have some that say 1937, and Same. they're still doing fine. That's the difference between the new and the old, if you do just want to avoid older stuff. Next, Bowden. This is a tough one. Bowden, okay, buckle her in, because it's a whole bunch of dots and colors, and this and that and the other. Okay, so the newest Bowden tag just says Bowden, but the dot is yellow, and it's over the B. This is the first time. That's the newest. The first time Bowden has put the colored dot at over the beginning the, of the logo. Sit at the end. The blue dot. At the end. It's the same gray color tag, but the blue dot's over the end. That's a step back. That is another one that they've used for It's been ever. Yeah, you know, she's been here for a like, while. Like, they just stopped using that, like, last year, but they had started using it back in, like, 2010. Like, it's so... Okay, so we take a step back, big step back, and we go to... Oh, no, it's our, the same. It's always same... been the same Bowden logo. They've never changed no, the font. No, they've never changed the font. So we have blue dots over here, big step back, red with a cream dot. We don't know the ages, but there's these two older ones that we know are, are older. Very old. It's a red la like the label's red. I mean, you can see it, and it has a cream dot at the end. And then the other one is like it's the same thing except the tag is blue and it's a gray dot. Yeah, <laughs> I like dots. It's always the same logo. It's just you have to pay attention to the color because it is old. But again, Bowdoin always has a style number. It starts with a W and H usually. Look that up. Please look that up because that'll be your best key to mm -hmm. see if it's good, if it's old, whatever. If it's bad. Up next, another one that there's not too much on. Tory Burch. Probably you all know this, but just in case people don't, we'll let you know. The old Tory Burch tag is that big orange one that's just the... The Tory like, Burch little TT emblem logo it's a it's a i didn't realize it's two t's and two b's oh it's two t's on the I guess top you guys can see that now and have to look at that after <laughs> i would be picky on that stuff i used to think like oh you get all tory birch like no matter what but like no you don't i've had tory birch with that tag and it's done not good and then the newer ones are the cream long one that has the logo in the middle and it says tory birch on each side and then tory sport is a pretty new line of hers there's only one label that she's ever used, it's and it like can be green. stamped in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tory Sport, I, Tory Sport, I would always pick up, and then the new label I would mm -hmm. always pick up too. Unless it's like too expensive. If it's like a button up and it's like fifteen bucks, you pre pass. You say goodbye. Up. Thank you. And last, it's kind of a joke because this is the one that everyone says they know. <laughs> Carol Anderson by invitation, formerly known as Cabby. New tag, Cabby. Six years old, dumbass. Never. That label is six years old, you dumbass. Never gets old. Um, <laughs> it's a, not new tag. This is square with thin C A B I. The new tag is the it's square it. one, and it's all lowercase. She has ixnade this capital c capital a it is now always all lowercase it's just cabby not cut same with even in the shoes or if you found bags or whatever if it's all lowercase it is newer it's newer and if it has the capital c capital a that's older the older one that i would recommend you don't ever buy some people have luck but like i would say i no. wish i was one of those people oh my god it's skinny and it says c a b i capital c capital, capital a, c, lowercase capital a, a yep. lowercase i and it's ugly. Thin. We've all seen this. Those if clothes, you haven't seen this, that well, tag liar. is ugly. Clothes are, you know. And then one that can kind of like just kind of exists in between two Carol Andersons is Carol Anderson by invitation. Spell out. So the you tag guys might have seen this. You Carol might not know Anderson what it said invitation. because it's such a kooky, crazy cursive. But it says Carol Anderson, like her signature, and it says by invitation. That's Cabby and. I think she's still making stuff using that. It's supposed I to don't be know what better. Kind of, I don't know what kind of stuff Carol Anderson's mm. trying out with that logo. She but just, she also used to use it way back it. in the day. And it mm -hmm. hasn't changed. So if you see no. that, has a style number again. Give her a Google. Figure that out. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave below what other brands and labels you'd like us to do. There's some that are kind of complicated. Like we can't do Anthro because they, got they have so many. You could, we could at some point maybe do 10 Anthro brands, new labels versus old or something. We you can't that. do Anthro in general and free people's a lot of labels, but maybe at some point we could do that. Maybe we'll do five. If we really get locked in the house, we'll do that. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you're not and leave a comment with what ones you'd like to see in the future. Yes. And give us a thumbs up. Bye. Bye everybody.